everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Cassandra. I have a PhD in vineyard and wine science and on this channel I talk about what it's like to live and work in wine country. Currently we're still under shelter in place in Napa County and uh, it's a nice day out, a little chilly but very sunny, but I am in the mood to bake and I thought we could bake together. And in terms of baking ingredients, it's still a little slim pickings at the grocery stores in our area. So um, I'm kind of hodgepodging some recipes, but I'm sure they'll turn out good because I like all the ingredients that are going into my recipes. So today I'm going to be making some brownies and some cornbread muffins. And I have been um, implementing some healthier changes in my life and the shelter in place has really inspired me and I've been utilizing some of the healthy exchanges my mom used when she would bake when I was a kid. So overall I'm just lightening up my recipes so that they're a little healthier. Um, nonetheless it's still a dessert not intended to be eaten in large quantities but I just felt like baking a treat and I hope you enjoy cooking with me today. The first thing that I'm going to make is some cornbread muffins and I have a cornbread muffin mix because uh, this was pretty much the only thing I could find when I was at the store and I'm just gonna modify it slightly just to add some pizzazz and interest to it uh, it was amazing at this store. There was no flour, almost no baking mixes of any kind, and I think people are still um, stocking up, but we will make do with uh, what we have. And so this is a Betty Crocker corn cornbread muffin mix, and it makes six muffins, but I'm gonna add some yummy goodness to it, so I think I'll end up having nine muffins. So let me show you what the ingredients are. For the cornbread mix, you need a third of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter and margarine, and one egg. So I'm going to use skim milk and three tablespoons of egg whites equals one egg. And I'm substituting unsweetened applesauce for the butter or oil, kind of an old school trick to bring down the calories of a recipe and uh, one uh, small can of hatch chilies. This is four ounces and I got mild, but you could use spicy. I'm gonna add half a cup of corn kernels. These are frozen. And uh, I'll add half a cup of reduced fat, Mexican shredded, Mexican style shredded cheese made with 2% milk. And I also have baking cups. And um, basically I'll just combine all the ingredients and I'll show you how it goes. Clean the floor this morning. I'm such a klutz.
next I'm going to make some brownies and I bought this Lakanto brownie mix from Grocery Outlet a while ago and um, there's a YouTuber called Dr. Dre and she substitutes pumpkin puree for the coconut oil and this is sweetened with monk fruit and it needs a half a cup of coconut oil so I'm going to substitute the pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of water, and two eggs or three eggs for cakier brownies. So I'm going to use nine tablespoons of egg whites which is equal to uh, three eggs. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of some pumpkin pie -y spices. And I don't specifically have pumpkin pie spice, but I do have apple pie spice and it's virtually everything that I would want anyway. There's cinnamon, ginger, allspice, cardamom, and nutmeg. And then I'm also going to add uh, two ounces of the semi-sweet baking chips because according to uh, Dr. Dre, this isn't the most chocolatey of the brownies so I think they do need a little extra oomph from some chocolate chips so I will throw that together now. Muffins and brownies are out of the oven and I successfully made nine muffins with this recipe. And here are the brownies and you can kind of see I tested in a few places to make sure they were done. And uh, don't forget when it comes to brownies they don't follow the same rules as cake so in cake the center has to be um, has to come out clean but in brownies uh, basically you want to have sort of fudgy crumbs that look cooked uh, but if you go to the edge a toothpick will come out completely clean and if the center comes out clean then they'll probably be dry and overcooked so that's a good thing to watch and um, they're very hot but they'll cool down and become nice and fudgy and I think the pumpkin definitely worked out well they have a great texture and they are going to be slightly cakey because I added that extra egg white I hope you enjoyed this little cooking video. It was definitely fun to do some baking, even with these healthier modifications. And uh, considering the limitations that are at my grocery store currently. Uh, but I hope that you're staying well and healthy. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe. And cheers from wine country.